Hi you all, this is Maggie. Look what I got yesterday. Yay! This is the Tim Holt workstation. I did two pages today. I'm gonna show one right after this video. And it's fantastic, I love it. Okay, so this is my Chick Sparrow Traveler Notebook and I am completing one of the notebooks, the Mandori notebooks. I um, have about two more pages to go. I'm going to do one also and have it list, uh, show in this video. <laughs> I prepare the pages with gesso so it can take the watercolor. That's my brush and I'm using the J Jane Davenport watercolors to start this page and I pick the bright colors I'm feeling for brightness today and um, so first thing I do is um, start creating like blocks like big blocks in different colors you, you get to see it now Excited. I get to close this notebook and start a new one. It takes a long time, so I'm gonna go back and show you uh, do a flip through, and it, it does show a lot how I my drawings and style has changed a lot. Although I don't stay with one style. I one day I'm doing that Jane Davenport, and the next day I'm doing something else. I just like to do something different so it's good and bad because if you continue to do the same thing then you master it uh, but when you jump from one style to another you just really um, really do average so here are my blocks I'm choosing the blue colors and the greens and just blocks just to create <clears throat> space for me to write and journal on these pages I'm going to let the music go for a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing This is a, um, a drawing I did a couple, maybe about a week ago. I was just playing and trying to do something else and I like her so I want to see if I can introduce her into this page. I'm using, I thought I was, I picked the uh, Distress ink but actually they're not, they're the Memento one and I thought if I pour water into it I was going to get a nice color but ugh, this was not nice. So, pull my watercolor and I said, okay, let's go ahead and put watercolor over it. And it gets to the color that I was looking for. I didn't want something so light. I wanted something uh, vivid with color since that's, you know, what I'm using in the blocks. So I'm using, mixing my greens, blues, but this time I'm using the bright ones just to um, all over the drawing itself so it's not just defined to the hair is black or the dress is pink it's just all the colors are in there
Hi, I'm back again. Here it is um, a look of the Traveler of Chick Sparrow Traveler Notebook and how I have it set up. I use I use it a lot. I love it. I love the, the leather. I just love it. It's expensive, but um, I love it. So I make sure that I have my Traveler Notebooks here. And I have, I believe I have two dividers. I thought I had more. So that's why I'm looking in here just to make sure because that second one is the one I completed. Um, and then I have kind of an insert I created and it has the Jane Davenport paper, um, watercolor paper. And I played, did a couple of joints just practicing and using the paper. But this is the, uh, the traveler notebook that I've completed. I had two pages left and I'm, the pages that I was doing before were the last pages of the Traveler notebook. Um, that's the second page. That's, those are my great great grandparents. And um, this is a page I did. My best friend was in town. She left me a note so I plugged in the note into the page and decorated the entire page this is when we were did our cruise back in 2017 we we're excited I just put a couple of pictures we had a great time and this is my dad my mom that's that little girl there it's me and my brother years and years ago and this is my hubby and I I believe, yeah we were in Puerto Rico we were on vacation in Puerto Rico took a nice picture there and that's the way I decorated the page this one I was when I first started introducing different art medias into the page this one I did when I was in the cruise um, and I used Tim Holtz tissue paper watercolor this one is a drawing um, that I did and I kept it like pastel colors, so I try to do the other page to go with the flow with it. And then this one here, that's watercolor. I really like how those flowers came out. Um, have to try to do that again. They came out pretty nice. And again, I wanted to just do something, a little cat or something. And this is when I do my silly drawings and <laughs> just to have fun just big heads small bodies and so forth here too these are my little creatures that I created they're sad with little sayings and um, that was I used vellum paper for that so that didn't work well because it kind of it, it wrinkled a lot and it get and it got really hard so it was really hard to work with that some of the pages I was working on that's me that's the way I look <laughs> I don't like to take pictures of myself so I figured let me just place a picture there but that's me and this is my family those two are my babies one is 29 28 and the other one is 18 and that's when they were babies they grow fast that's me and my hubby and a friend and here i did a bunny i love the bunny and here did one of my creatures again i don't know if it's sad or i don't know <laughs> just to do something different and to have fun it's fun this one I use a mixture of colors uh, as a background after I did the drawing. Came out pretty nice. As I think it was my second mermaid that I was working on. And I put a little bit of glitter. Uh, let me see if I can show it right there. That's my mom. She passed away. So, just dedicated a page for her, 
we're close to Mother's Day, so I did a page for her. So, it's another page I was working on. And this, that's, um, I used the gel, the press gel, or just press, um, to create that. And I haven't been able to do the, the same thing. I don't know how I did it. Um, here's another one that I worked on. I like this one. I like that, this picture. I like that picture. It's cute. And it's another page. Pretty much just washi tape, cut out heart. Um, here goes more watercolors and flowers. They look a little bit different. I like it too. Yeah, I was just playing with faces and it got messed up and I said, it's okay. <laughs> and then this is one of the pages uh, that I completed, but I went back and I added this butterfly and it's made out of vellum paper. It's kind of neat, but I don't know what I use with a page. If I leave it close, it, it, it'll stick. So I have to keep this um, piece of paper there. That's another one I created. This one I like a lot. And I, I did the same thing. That was made out of vellum paper. And just uh, did the edging with gold pen. Looked up really nice. This is the one I was working on today. I like this one. It's a mixture of everything. But it looks pretty nice. And then here you flip it. I have a little tab, so I just put um, decorative paper and then drew the little face in the back. And this is the final product, filling it all the boxes. It's completely different, but I like it. I do like it. And um, the very using that, I'm not sure whether it's gonna stick out stick or not and then the the end that's it thank you all bye bye